Hi, Yudis here. In this video, I'd like to talk about a new MIDI grade version 1.2. This version is available now. MIDI grade is a mapping I created combining a powerful MIDI instrument by DJ Tech Tools, a super flexible programming software for Mac OS X called Controllermate, and the personal need of mine for a feature rich, compact, and most importantly, affordable controller for DaVinci Resolve. In a nutshell, it's a powerful control panel with over 90 functions for the color grading software we all know and love. To learn more about the background of MIDI grade and how it all started, you can watch the initial introduction video I put out a while ago. This update has been a long time coming. There is over 10 new features which I have built based on my experience using MIDI grade in my daily colorist work, and of course I have listened to all the great user feedback I've gotten. I have used and continually fine-tuned this new version for the past few months, and finally now I feel it has reached the point where it's ready to be released. This new MIDI grade version 1.2 is compatible with Resolve's just released version 12.5 and works in both free and studio versions. Here's a complete list of new features included in this new update. First of all, the code under hood has been polished and the overall performance has been improved. I have revamped the core programming almost completely, so the future updates are much faster to develop and it's much easier for users now to customize keyboard shortcuts in MIDI grade if needed. Next and previous node buttons have been added, thanks to Blackmagic Design finally implementing keyboard shortcuts for them in Resolve 12.5. The buttons are located in top right corner in all banks. Bank toggling layout now goes horizontally starting from the second left side button like this, 1, 2, 3 and 4. The left out two side buttons used previously for banks work now as previous and next clip buttons. In bank 2 hue saturation luminance qualifiers, there is now possibility to toggle qualifiers on and off with the first button of each row. Reset buttons of these qualifiers have been set to the second buttons. Also in Bank 2, the knob order has been changed for saturation and luminance adjustments. Now, instead of strictly following the layout on screen in Resolve, the knobs are in a more intuitive order with lows and highs being in the middle and the softening on both sides. Before, lift gamma gain and offset controls were mapped in MIDI grade two times and there's definitely no need for that. In Bank 3, these controls were located on the first row, and they have now been replaced with sizing options, pan tilt, zoom and rotate. I have found them really useful to have around during grading, because oftentimes there comes the need to adjust the composition of shots even after the edit has been locked. Lift, gamma gain and offset are still available in Bank 4. Temperature and tint are new features introduced in Resolve 12.5, so of course they have been added to MIDI grade now too. All old color adjustment settings are still available. Bank 3 has now a new exciting set of knobs, which have the function of passive mouse clicking and dragging. What this means is that they work as any other knobs by clicking and dragging with your mouse, but the mouse coordinates have been left out so they perform the click and drag function wherever your cursor is located. This is especially helpful when manipulating settings which have otherwise had to be left out from MIDI grid like open effects plugins, noise reduction or blur and sharpness. One knob is for horizontal mouse movement and the other for vertical mouse movement. Another new feature available in Bank 3 is handling versions of your grid for the clip you have currently active. Add version and next version functions are now located on the first buttons on first and second row. Both Banks 3 and 4 have buttons for taking reference stills and toggling through them now too. Second buttons on rows 1, 2 and 3 work now as play still, grab still and next still. Previous still is available also but only in bank 3 on the first button of third row. Now here comes the two new features that I'm most proud and excited about. First, many settings in Resolve feel like they have inconsistent sensitivities compared to each other and this has already been compensated in MIDI grade by having the mouse move while turning it up from 1 pixel per tick up to 8 pixels. What I have noticed though with some functions like color boost is that they still have felt too sensitive even with the lowest knob sensitivity. To counter this, an even slower knob speed of just half pixels per tick or technically one pixel per two ticks has been now introduced in MIDI grade 1.2. 
This allows more precise control of these settings which have before felt stressful to get right. The slowest knob sensitivity is toggled on for temperature, tint, color boost, shadows and highlights. Now in other scenarios where there has been the need for big amounts of adjusting like when moving a power window or making changes in qualifiers, I have many times found myself moving back to using the mouse for that, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of MIDI grade. So after putting a lot of thought into this issue and with help from MIDI grade user Greg Greenhall, I came up with a method for speeding up all knobs by 10 times with simply a click of a button. Now, when you press an up down, right before or during turning it, a setting goes on which makes the cursor move 10 times the normal speed, and thus enabling you to turn any knob that much faster. No more need for turning knobs like crazy or switching to mouse. This new addition has made my own workflow much more enjoyable, and I'm so happy to bring this out to you guys. Do note that functions that have been working before on button press, like adding new node or toggling the grid on and off, are now set off with the release of each button. This means that you may encounter time when you accidentally turn an up before the release of it, and the button feels like it's not working. In that case, just take a little pause and give it another go. That should do the trick. So that's it. That was 13 changes to MIDI grade since last version, and I already have some ideas how to improve it even further in future updates. Right now, my top priority is to make this release as stable as possible, so if you encounter any problems using MIDI grade version 1.2 with Resolve 12.5, don't hesitate to contact me. Also, I'm aware there has been many requests for making MIDI grade available for Windows, but unfortunately, Controllermate, which has been by far the best programming software I have come across so far, works only in Mac OS X. I do want to point out that I have already started programming MIDI grade from ground up on different software just for making it available for Windows, but I have no schedule when that version could be released. Definitely stay tuned for that. Now hopefully I have got you excited enough to head to midigrade.com to get your upgraded MIDI grade up and running. Or if you haven't purchased it yet, now is a good time to do that. This summer MIDI grade will stay on sale for its current price, and after that in September 2016 that price will go up. The value of this product has been proven by its many users to be worth more than it currently is priced at, and the work that I have put into MIDI grade has steadily been increasing, so that's behind the reasoning of a price increase. Also, you will get all the future updates without any further costs, so there's really no downsides to buy MIDI grade now. I wish you happy grading, thanks for watching.